Why did I buy Manta? It's because I think that the Manta network is very amazing. You know, after all, the Manta network consists of two networks. The first being Manta Pacific, which is the modular layer two ecosystem on Ethereum for Ethereum virtual machine native zero knowledge applications. Now, with that being said, I get it, right? Some people out there, they may think, okay, that's a bunch of jargon, sounds very complicated, but let me explain this. And I think it's going to seem very simple in the end. Now, you may be wondering, okay, first of all, what's zero knowledge? Now, the benefit of something like zero knowledge technology is, for instance, enhanced scalability and as well as enhanced privacy. So that's very fantastic. And also, the second part is that when it comes to Manta Pacific, again, I did mention it's a layer two. And some people out there, they may be wondering, okay, what's the benefit of a layer two? Now, in this case, a layer two for Ethereum, quite essentially what it does is that it allows Ethereum to be enjoyed but at the same time, not having to deal with a lot of the nonsense, like, for instance, the sky high gas fees, you know, the arguable scalability issues. So, yeah, that's the amazing thing about a layer two. And now with that being said, the second network is something called Manta Atlantic. And catch this, right? Allegedly, it's the fastest ZK, again, zero knowledge, layer one chain on Polkadot. I mean, that's a very bold claim. But catch this. On the Manta network, there's currently a total value lock of over half a billion dollars. And there's even over 250 projects as well. And you kind of get the name, right? It's kind of ocean themed, Manta Pacific, Manta Atlantic. You know, after all, Manta it reminds me of a Manta Ray. But yeah, besides that point, we take a look at how on the Manta network, there are projects related to DeFi gaming and the metaverse. And I think this could be so huge for Manta overall, because for instance, we take a look at the DeFi market, aka the decentralized finance market. According to Grandview Research, its market size is predicted to be worth over $200 billion by 2030. I mean, that's crazy. Bigger than some countries' GDP, that figure. Also on top of that, yet again, according to Grandview Research, the blockchain gaming market predicted to be worth over $300 billion by 2030. I mean, that's crazy. And last but not least, according to McKinsey, the metaverse could reach up to $5 trillion in value yet again by 2030. So could you imagine that? You know, these three markets have insane potential, even though the hype may not be as great right now when compared to 2021, but I think better days are still ahead. So having projects related to these markets on the Manta ecosystem, I think that could, again, benefit it so greatly moving forward. Any way I view it, I think Manta is pretty much the complete package. And just to harp back on that ocean themed when it comes to Manta, Manta actually has quite essentially a canary network called the calamari network. And yeah, I'm not joking. I'm talking about calamari, like, you know, the thing on the menu and some seafood restaurants. But yeah, besides that point, you may be wondering, okay, what's a, you know, canary network? Now I'll give this as an example. Let's say there's something called, you know, TY and there's something else called ZZ, right? Let's say TY is a canary network to ZZ. Now, what does this mean? Usually new code will ship over to TY first, and then after the code has been tested and verified under real economic conditions, it will then be shipped over usually to, let's say, for instance, in this case, ZZ. So yeah, you get my point. Even though it may sound kind of complicated, here are actually some examples of a canary network. You know, for instance, Kusama, it's a canary network to Polkadot. I'm very bullish on those two. You also take a look at Moonriver. You know, that's a canary network to Moonbeam. I'm very bullish on those as well. So yeah, those are some examples. But for the purpose of this video, I'm not really that concerned with a Calamari network. I'm more concerned about the Manta network because I think that's where my focus is at. You know, I'm just a lot more bullish on the Manta network. Manta, it's a no-brainer pick for me. I think it's fundamentally amazing. It's focused on the right things and it's very revolutionary. No-brainer pick for me. Again, that's why I'm buying Manta. And if you want to know my price prediction for Manta during this bull run, make sure to go ahead and click on this video right here. I break down why I believe Manta could reach a certain price target, and I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain, and I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.